Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com and today we're going to go inside and get all of the nutritious vegetables that we need to put together the most amazing weight loss, cancer prevention, diabetes reversal soup and it's called a cruciferous soup. And you know how I love the term cruciferous because it's a reminder of the crucifix which is therefore the cross. And just as God brings healing to us spiritually, these foods bring healing to us physically. So I'm going to teach you how to make this incredible soup so you can start enjoying it today and just start being blessed with the benefits of eating this soup. Oh, it's going to be so good. Before I go inside, I just want to ask, have you subscribed to our channel yet? It is my joy and my honor to serve you God's recipe for excellent health. And that includes three ingredients. I'm here to teach you how to be confident in the kitchen, confident with your cooking, but most importantly, confident in understanding how much, how much God loves you with an everlasting love. He's loved you from the moment of conception and he will always be there for you. Now let's go inside, but make sure you hit subscribe and leave your comments down below. Now this is a cruciferous vegetable soup, so this is gonna have all of those foods that are so health promoting. They protect your DNA. They inhibit cancer from forming. They inhibit cancer from growing. They also just protect you and your immune system in so many different ways. Well, here we are back at the kitchen and I have gone ahead and prepped all of the vegetables and the grains. Here we have a bowl of chopped kale and chopped collards. Both of those are cruciferous. And then we have our chopped leeks. We use two of the leeks that we bought today, chop them up nice and fine. We have one head of broccoli. We have two, they were very large sized Brussels sprouts. So we just kind of chop them up. You might want to chop your vegetables up a little bit more finely. I like big chunks, but definitely make them the size that your family is going to enjoy. Now this is a very large bowl of onions. So I chopped up three medium onions in my food processor. Without that, I would not be able to cry my way through chopping onions. I have some parsley ready to go for the end of our soup. Some celery, I have two cups of celery. I have four crushed garlic and just mildly chopped. Now here's my mushrooms. These are actually dehydrated. And many of you have asked, what do you do with your dehydrated vegetables? Well, I just go ahead and put them in soups like this. So that's about two cups of fresh mushrooms and now it reduced down to right about a half of a cup. So it will reconstitute and get bigger again. I've got one cup of lentils and then I've got a half a cup of beans. You can use any bean of your choice. We have some three chopped parsnips, again, another cruciferous. We have some barley, just because I love adding at least one of the seven foods of the promised land in all of the dishes that I cook. So I did a half a cup of barley. We've got three to four carrots chopped up here, and we have three zucchini chopped up here. Now the zucchini, you didn't see me buy those at the store because I got them right out of my garden. To this, we're gonna add four cups of filtered water. Make sure it's filtered. We don't want any impurities getting in this soup. And then we have 20 ounces of chopped stewed tomatoes. Well, here you can see I actually moved my soup to one of my bigger pots. I think I got a little bit more carried away on this time when I mixed this up. You can definitely use half the ingredients and still have a really good soup, but this is gonna serve between 10 to 12 servings. So we're gonna have it for a couple days to enjoy. It makes a great lunch or a great dinner. 
and you could have a salad next to it. So yum, this is looking and smelling so good. I think we're done. Now just to add a creamy delight to the soup, we're gonna use our Vitamix Immersion Blender. This is totally the bomb for when it comes to immersion blenders. I've gone through some of the other brands and they keep breaking on me, so I've decided no more buying things that break. I only want one that's gonna work well. So we're gonna blend this up and then add it back into our soup. Well, I hope you totally enjoy this video and you can just see how steamy hot that is. Mmm, this is going to be so good. Enjoy it with your family. Enjoy it and maybe even can it so you have some to eat whenever you just need something good to pull out of the pantry. So I look forward to reading your comments about the cruciferous soup. And this recipe was adapted from Dr. Furman's cruciferous recipe, so you may recognize it from his books. Thanks for watching and letting me share with you God's recipe for excellent health. Always includes God's foods. Remember the three principles. Eat the foods that God called good. This is 100% goodness. Number two, eat the foods as close to the way he designed it. Well, we've cooked it, but that's all we've done. It's still real food. This works. Number three, don't let any food or anything become a God. I don't really think I'm going to have this become a God in my life. Tastes good, yes. Nourishing, yes. A God, no. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to reading your comments.